，梁哥制作，欧也妮，格朗台，作者巴尔扎克。第一章：中产阶级的面目。某些内地城市里面，有些屋子看上去像最阴沉的修道院，最荒凉的旷野，最凄凉的废墟，令人抑郁不欢。Production by Liang Gu, Eugene Grandet, author Balzac. Chapter One: The Face of the Middle Class. In some inland cities, some houses look like the gloomiest monasteries, the most desolate wilderness, the most desolate ruins, which makes people feel depressed. 修道院的静寂、旷野的枯燥和废墟的衰败零落，也许这类屋子都有一点。里面的生活起居是那么幽静，要不是街上一有陌生的脚声，窗口会突然探出一个脸孔像僧侣般的人。The silence of the monastery, the boredom of the wilderness, and the decay and disintegration of the ruins. Maybe this kind of house has a little bit of it. The daily life inside is so quiet. If there weren't strange footsteps on the street, a man with a face like a monk would suddenly poke out of the window. 一动不动的。暗淡而冰冷的目光，把生客瞪上一眼的话，外地客人可能把那些屋子当作没有人住的空屋。索莫城里有一所住宅，外表就有这些凄凉的成分，一条起伏不平的街。If you glare at strangers motionlessly with dim and cold eyes, the foreign guests may regard those houses as empty houses without anyone living in them. There is a house in Somo City which has these desolate elements in its appearance, a bumpy street. 直达城市高处的古堡，那所屋子便在街的尽头。现在已经不大有人来往的那条街，夏天热，冬天冷，有些地方暗得很，可是颇有些特点。小石子铺成的路面传出清脆的回声，永远清洁干燥。Go straight to the old castle high up in the city, and the house is at the end of the street. Nowadays, there are not many people coming and going on this street. It is hot in summer and cold in winter. It is very dark in some places, but it has some characteristics. The road paved with small stones emits a crisp echo, always clean and dry. 街面窄而多曲折。两旁的屋子非常幽静，坐落在城脚下，属于老城的部分。上了三百年的屋子，虽是木造的，还很坚固，各种不同的格式别有风光。The streets are narrow and winding. The houses on both sides are very quiet and located at the foot of the city, part of the old city. Although the house has been built for three hundred years, it is made of wood, but it is still very strong, and its various styles have unique charms. 使索莫城的这一个区域特别引起考古家与艺术家的注意。你走过这些屋子。不能不欣赏那些粗大的梁木，两头雕出古怪的形象，盖在大多数的底层上面，成为条黝黑的浮雕。This area of Somo City has attracted the attention of archaeologists and artists. When you walk through these houses, you can't help but admire the thick beams with strange images carved on both ends. They cover most of the ground floor and become a dark relief. 有些地方，屋子的横木盖着石板，在不大结实的墙上勾勒出蓝色的图案，木料支架的屋顶，年深月久，往下弯了。日晒雨淋，船子已经腐烂、憔屈。有些地方露出破旧有黑的窗槛。In some places, the horizontal beams of the house are covered with slates, outlining blue patterns on the weak walls. The roof of the wooden frame has bent downwards over time. The rafters have rotted and warped due to the sun and rain. In some places, worn and dark window sills are exposed. 细巧的雕刻已经看不大清。穷苦的女工放上一盆石竹或蔷薇，窗槛似乎就承受不住那棕色的瓦盆。再往前走。有的门上钉着粗大的钉子，我们的祖先异想天开的。The delicate carvings can no longer be seen clearly. The poor female worker placed a pot of dianthus or roses, but the window sill seemed unable to bear the brown pot. Going further, some doors have thick nails nailed on them. Our ancestors were whimsical. 刻上些奇形怪状的文字，意义是永远没法知道的了，或者是一个新教徒在此表明自己的信仰，或者是一个旧教徒为反对新教而诅咒亨利四世，也有一般布尔乔亚刻些徽号。The meaning of some strange words engraved on it will never be known. Either a Protestant expressed his faith here, or an old believer cursed Henry the Fourth for opposing Protestantism. There are also some emblems carved by ordinary bourgeoisie. 表示他们是旧乡绅，掌握过当地的行政。这一切中间就有整部法兰西历史的影子。一边是墙壁粉的很粗糙的、摇摇欲坠的屋子，还是工匠卖弄手艺的遗物。贴林便是一座乡绅的住宅。It means that they are old country squires and have controlled local administration. In the midst of all this lies the shadow of the entire history of France. On one side is a crumbling house with rough painted walls, a relic of a craftsman showing off his craftsmanship. Next door is a squire's house. 半圆形门框上的贵族徽号，受过了一七八九年以来历次革命的摧残，还看得出一迹。这条街上做买卖的底层，既不是小铺子，也不是大商店。喜欢中世纪文物的人。The noble coat of arms on the semicircular door frame has been damaged by the revolutions since 1789, and the remnants can still be seen. On this street, the bottom floor of the business is neither a small shop nor a big store. People who like medieval cultural relics. 在此可以遇到一派朴素简陋的气象
，完全像我们上代里的蜥蜴工厂。宽大低矮的殿堂，没有铺面，没有摆在廊下的货摊，没有橱窗，可是很深，黑洞洞的，里里外外没有一点装潢。Here you can encounter a simple and crude atmosphere, exactly like the craft workshops of our previous generation. The shop was large and low, with no shop floor, no stalls on the porch, and no display windows. However, it was very deep and dark, and there was no decoration inside or outside. 满板的大门分作上下两节，简陋的钉了铁皮。上半节往里打开，下半节装有带弹簧的门铃，老是有人开进开出。门旁半人高的墙上，一排厚实的护窗板，白天卸落，夜晚装上。The full panel door is divided into two parts, the upper and lower parts, which are crudely nailed with iron sheets. The upper part opens inward, and the lower part is equipped with a spring-loaded doorbell. People are always driving in and out. On the half-height wall next to the door, there is a row of thick window guards, which are removed during the day and installed at night. 外加铁栓好落锁。这间地窖式的潮湿的屋子，就靠大门的上半截或者窗洞与屋顶之间的空间透进一些空气与阳光。半人高的墙壁下面是陈列商品的地位，招来顾客的玩意。An iron bolt is added for easy locking. This humid cellar-like room relies on the upper half of the door, or the space between the window hole and the roof, to let in some air and sunlight. Under the half-person high wall is where merchandise is displayed, toy to attract customers. This is absolutely no one. Goods of the genre have to be chosen by the size of the shoes, or two or three hard and soft or hard and soft shoes, or two or three hard and soft shoes. On the roof, there is a wooden shelf with a wooden shelf, and on the roof, there is a wooden shelf with a wooden shelf. On the roof, there is a wooden shelf with a wooden shelf. On the roof, there is a wooden shelf with a wooden shelf. The type of goods depends on the nature of the shop. There are either two or three barrels of salt and anchovies, or a few bundles of canvas and ropes. Brass ropes.